Programming for Advanced Beginners, Battleships. If you've completed all of the introduction to X tutorials that you can find and you're looking for what to do next, then this is the series for you. We'll learn how to break down problems and turn them into code. We'll learn how to write clean modular code where each piece is responsible for one thing and one thing only. We'll learn how and when to use classes. We'll learn how and when to integrate simple AIs into a game and so much more. We're going to write the project in Python, but we're not going to use any Python specific constructs or anything like that. So if you know Ruby or JavaScript or any language, really, you should hopefully be able to follow along without much trouble. We're going to focus on a few particular principles. We're going to leave ourselves open and flexible to see how our project develops. We're going to work in small bite sized chunks. You see here that we've got a couple of milestones each episode that we want to achieve. And then that will help us with working in small pieces. The game that we're going to work on is called Battleships. It's a board game that you may have seen or even played before. Here's a nice knockoff version by someone who doesn't own the copyright called Sea Battle. And the way it works is each player has a grid and inside their grid they have to hide their battleships. So they might have hidden a couple of battleships like this and then it's the opposing player's job to try and destroy the other person's battleships by guessing where they are. So they might guess a coordinate, so they might guess 0, 4 and because we're programming this first column here is column 0 so we'd go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It would take a shot but they would miss. Put it in here. And then the other person would get to shoot at the other person's secret battleships. And then maybe they would guess again. They would guess zero, or sorry, maybe they'd guess four, one. So they'd guess zero, one, two, three, four, one. And then this time, that's a hit. And this part of the battleship is destroyed. And so the players take it in turns, shooting at each other's secret battleships. And the winner is the first person to completely destroy all of the other person's battleships. The way we're going to structure our game is we'll have two people playing on the same computer on the same command line. So each player will ask, okay, where do you want to shoot? And they'll type in hmm, five, seven, and then we'll tell them whether it's a hit or a miss and whether a battleship is being destroyed and so on. And then we'll keep letting the players take it in turns until one of them has won. We'll use just the terminal. We'll print it in ASCII art like this because then we don't have to worry about fiddling with any um, display libraries or anything like that. We can just focus on the programming principles that are completely applicable whatever you're working on, whether it's a game or a website or um, anything like that. Before we get started on our code, we're going to initialize git, which you may or may not have come across before. Either way, it's not going to be a huge part of this project, but I'm just going to use it to keep track of our work so that uh, and so that I can push it up to GitHub, uh, a website that helps you share code at the end of it. So we go git init and that initializes the git system. And now we want to make a commit, which is where we say, OK, I've done some code. Let me add it in and add it to the system. So I go git commit, I type in a message saying just first commit. And now that's committed to our git repository. As I said, the details of how git works aren't particularly important for this project. And there are lots of different uh, websites you can look at to, to, uh, to understand. <clears throat> As I said, the details of how Git works and what it does aren't particularly important for this project and there are lots of explanations on the internet that you can have a Google for about it. So I think we've introduced the project pretty well. We've initialized Git and now all that's left is we just want to set up a very basic hello world file. We can start with the Python boilerplate you may have seen before. And let's see if that works. In fact, let's make sure we can use Python 3 uh, because we're pretty modern over here. And it works. Python 3 main pi, hello world. 
And that's all we wanted to achieve this episode. So we're going to start by building a one player version of battleships where we just have one set of battleships hidden from the player generated by the computer and they're just shooting at them randomly. And then once we've written that part, we can expand it and build on it to build our entire battleships game. And this will be a common theme throughout the series, that we do something small, um, contained, make sure it works, and then we can build on that rather than trying to do everything at once. So I'll see you next time in episode one, where we'll start building this first one-player game of battleships. Mm -hmm.